Hey everyone, today we are going to model a sci-fi cable, primarily making use of the seam model brush and take advantage of micropoly to create a fishnet pattern. Before we start, I want to inform you about my free beginner hard surface course for ZBrush. In this course, I will guide you through the ZBrush UI and introduce you to the main tools we are going to use. We'll start with a warm-up exercise to practice the necessary workflows and then we'll dive right into creating a VR headset step by step. So if you're just starting out or want to have a more detailed explanation of my workflows, this course is perfect for you. You can access the course through the link in the description. Alright, let's start out with the cylinder and scale it in the y-axis. Make a duplicate, turn on transparency mode, scale this down and up, move it down and let's do a weld in the y direction, activate local symmetry and activate y symmetry. Let's grab those two poly loops and give them a new poly group. Control W, bring everything back, go to the C modeler brush, choose extrude and poly group all, and let's extrude that outwards. Switch to the insert single edge loop. Let's put an edge loop right here and delete this one to get a bevel right here. Let's delete this edge loop by alt clicking it. Put in, a, put in another edge loop here. Let's select this cap. Turn on double to see if we selected anything else. Let's unselect this, give this a new polygroup. And extrude that inwards. Let's insert a panel cut right here. Choose bevel, edge loop complete and extrude that inwards as well. Now I can grab this piece again, duplicate it, grab this part, delete hidden and scale it up so it fits within the other cylinder. And let's do a serial measure with 5k and one time with half. Now let's have a look at the end caps. Choose the seam molder brush again. Insert. Give this end cap a new poly group. Control W. Bring out the gizmo. Control click on this vertice. Now we can move this up. Let's do another insert. And extrude that inwards. Let's duplicate our main cable. Control Shift D. Move it to the side. And scale it down to create our secondary cable. And do a mirror and weld in the x axis. Let's activate local symmetry in the y axis as well. Make them slightly bigger. Hover over this middle edge. Go to bevel. And bevel those two edges as well. Then extrude this inwards. Switch to insert and delete this edge with alt clicking. To create a connection piece between those two cables. I will do another duplicate of these secondary cables as well as this part and merge them together. Now I'm going to switch to my slice curve, switch to B radius, let's make a slice right here, grab this new poly group and delete hidden. Let's do a zero measure with same. Switch to the seam modeler brush. I'm just going to delete those two 
and go to insert multiple edge loops to polygroups and with this mode selected you can put in a edge loop right in the middle and now I can activate dynamic thickness offset of 100 center my gizmo scale this slightly up and hit apply I'm going to delete this piece for now and now I will select these faces right here isolate them inverse the selection and delete hidden go to the seam modeler brush bridge two holes click one edge on this hole and one edge on this hole and to implement some asymmetry I'm now going to activate multi-selection switch to my select lasso and select these two pieces and rotate them by 25 degrees switch to this cable do a mirror mirror and weld switch back to this piece and do the same thing flip x let's do a group by normals go to zero measure keep groups turn off smooth groups and detect edges bring out the gizmo turn off the multi-selection function hold down control and move this down to make a copy Control drag to get rid of the masking. Let's center the gizmo in the middle. Get rid of these upper pieces for now. Delete hidden. Now I can turn on local symmetry and reactivate X and Y symmetry. And now I will paint in these polygroups. Extrude them outwards. Grab these end caps and delete hidden. Now I can come back to bridge two holes. Click this side and this side. Let's do another group by normals and another zero measure with the same. Let's paint in another polygroup. Switch to inset, polygroup all and insert that face. Bring out the gizmo, control click on this vertice and move it outwards. Get rid of the masking. Now I can paint in some strips. Insert polygroup all. Press all to give them a new polygroup. Switch to extrude and extrude them, those inwards. Let's do another group by normals with an angle of 40. Hit crease polygroups and turn on dynamic. Smooth subdivision to 4 and a crease level of 2. And now I can do a mirror and weld in y axis. Let's switch to this part. Do another zero measure with keep groups, double and detect edges. Group by normals with an angle of 30, with polygroups, dynamics, smooth subdivision to 4, crease level of 2. Let's do the same thing here. Keep groups, smooth groups down, target number of 5k, and detect edges, crease polygroups. Hit dynamic, smooth subdivision of 4. To create a fishnet effect on this piece, I'm going to switch to geometry, dynamic subdivision, turn on dynamic and turn on micropoly, and choose the vortex. And if this mesh is too tight, I can do another zero measure by half and see how that looks. And if I'm happy with that, I can hit apply, turn on dynamics again and turn micro poly off and give this some subdivision. Let's put everything in one folder. For that, I'm going to bring out my gizmo, turn on multi-selection and deselect one piece, 
otherwise this is not going to work. I'm going to hit new folder, hit yes, let's build this cable and move this one piece back in. Hit the gear icon and hit merge folder and activate dynamics again. Now let's bring in my head with the head implant that I did in the last video. You can find the link to this modeling tutorial in the description. Let's grab that cable and scale it down. I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees. And 90. Let's fit it to the socket. Hit the gear icon of the gizmo and switch to bend curve. Let's give this some more points to work with. And now I can give this cable some nice curvature. Awesome. And that's how you can create a cool cipher cable in ZBrush. So if you want more insights of my workflows or want to get a better understanding of ZBrush, look at my free beginner hard surface course, which I designed to be easy to follow as a beginner. You can find the link in the description. Until then guys, take care.